Hey everybody, so 34 is using 16.3 and I took, here's like a little um, picture of it and minus the suns. So your time axis may be approximate, but it should show the star depends on different mounts. Track the shown form, showing that is different than white dwarf. And so the relationship between life and so we have a lifetime here. It's going to be approximately the mass divided by um, luminosity. And we'll make that so you know that's luminosity and that um, length. Let me change that. Okay. And the following figure, the one I have here, it shows the luminosity, surface temperature, and cooling the lifetimes of stars in different stages. Okay. So we have white dwarfs is about the last one. And we can see that it starts out from the main sequence here about 10.18 years and then it travels it goes to the right and it goes up down and goes all the way to planetary nebula so in the above figure it shows that the main sequence stars have longer lifetime than all other stages so the final stage as we can see right here is a dwarf or a white dwarf. Is a white dwarf and a star has much mass will finally become a black hole and a star with a lot of mass Um, a black hole. Okay. Thank you guys.